Hello friends, in this session, we are going to learn how to handle multiple elements. So let's start. So let me open this Google Chrome and in this Google Chrome, I use this URL google.com. Okay, so see here, here is various links are present here like that, like about advertisement, business, how to search privacy terms, settings like that. Okay, so these are the language related links. When I click on this Hindi or Bangla, Marathi or Gujarati, Punjabi, Tamil, like that, these language are convert, these web pages are converted into respective language okay so these are the links so how how we handle these links multiple links so let's start our coding let me open this eclipse so in this eclipse here i created already created a class as a demo in that i open the chrome browser using system dot set property after that, create object of Chrome driver with respect to web driver. And after that, maximize this window. So for the navigate to URL or loading to URL, use get command here. And in double code, we will copy this URL from here and paste in our get method okay after that we have to find out the expression of for that multiple elements okay so see here when i click on this arrow okay i click on this arrow then see when i go to the hindi or bangla so see here its tag name is a its tag name is a see here this is a bangla this tag name is a like that see here these are the links links are always tag name is start from a okay like that so here we use tag name locating strategy so firstly we have to find out the driver dot find element methods find elements method because we use here multiple web element that's why we use find elements okay by dot tag name okay tag name this locating strategy i use here and tag name is what tag name is for link a okay in the double quote and complete this statement and this statement we will store in one object all links okay and it's written what is written it's written web element so here list of web element after that we have to print each and every link in our console that's why we use here for each loop we use for each loop for that use for in bracket we are this this object this list of web element object we are storing one for each loop object okay so all links it's stored in one l and what is written it's written web element okay after that for the for loop we are create a body here and after that we using this l using this l we are 
this well store in printing statement because we have to print each and every links in our console that's why so right here l sorry l after that get text get text it's a method which are access each and every text present in our link okay that's why after that if we have to find out number of links which are present in this google.com web page then we use all links all links dot size using this size method we can access size of the link it's it store the statement in one reference variable as a size and this size it's written integer because we have to access number of links and after that print this number of links in our console let's say here use number of links here use after that plus size okay after this completing we are close our browser close so see now run this program now google chrome browser will launch here after that maximize this window navigate to url and access the all the links which are present in this web element and close this browser okay so see here here number of links are 25 see here and these 25 links are here okay these 25 links are here like that so today's session we will see how to handle multiple elements so thank you for the watching video